All right, so we're going to start with the song and uh, we're going to use uh, just a few chords. We're going to use a capo on the fret number three and we're going to just pretend that the capo is the uh, the uh, the string zero is going to be in a, on a standard tuning. So it's going to be the, the string zero. So we need to use an F chord. We're going to use a G chord. We're going to use an A minor chord. Then a C chord and an E minor chord. That's all the chords we can use during the burst. Now, there's two ways we can we can play this. We're going to use the alternate, I'm sorry, the, uh, the palm muting uh, technique. We can do that. So basically, we're just going to an F chord and we just strike the strings doing all down strokes. All right, and I'm put, putting this part of the hand uh, on top of the string so I can, can mute the sound, the, the, mute the sound just a little bit. We just strike several times, and the next chord is going to be a G chord, and we're going to strike just just one time. All right, and we're going to go to an A minor chord, and we're going to do the same thing with it with it, with the F chord. We strike several times. As soon as we do that, we go back to G chord and we do the same thing. We just strike one time, all right? And then go again to F chord and we strike three times. Let's go again. And now we're going to change the things a little bit. We're going to go to C chord. We strike three times. We go to A minor. We strike three times and now we're going to finish on the G chord and we strike three times and then we start all the whole progression again. All right, let's go again. Okay, the other way we can play this is going to be the following. We can we can play it that way. Now, what we're going to start is we're going to be, use, be using the. Uh, the same chord, the same chord progression, we're going to start with an F chord. And what we're going to do with the uh, strumming hand, we're going to do... We're going to do that. We strike twice, uh, we do uh, two down strokes, then we do uh, an up stroke, and then next we're going to do uh, another up stroke from down up, but we're going to strike the open strings because we're going to be changing chords with this hand. Let's go again. We're going to go to a G chord and we're going to strike just one time, just like we did before. And we're going to go again to A minor and we repeat the same motion we did with F. After we do that, we go again to G, we strike one time and then we go to F and then we change the things a little bit. And when we go to F, we're going to do... We're going to do that. We strike twice, do two down strokes. Now when we go up again, we go and strike the open strings because we're going to be changing chords. All right, we're going to go to F and repeat the same thing. Down, down, up and open. We go to E minor and same thing. Down, down, up and open and we repeat the same motion with the G chord. All right, let's go again, the whole thing.
Okay, so now with the pre-chorus, after the, after the burst comes a pre-chorus, and we're going to change the things a little bit. We're going to use different chords. We're going to use a B flat. We're going to use a C. We already seen this chord, and then we're going to do we're going to do a D minor. You can do it here or you can do it here. It doesn't matter. It sounds good anyways. I believe it sounds better here, but you can do it on this position. And then we go back again well, to, to F. I'm sorry, to F. I'm um, C chord, sorry. C and then back to F. Already seen those chords. So we're going to do the following. Sorry. We do that. We're going to go to B, uh, B, uh, B flat. And it's the same uh, pattern with the, the with the strumming hand that we did before with the F at the beginning. We do two down strokes, then one up stroke, down stroke again, and then we finish with a down stroke. All right, down, down, up, up, and down. Then we go to a C chord and we do the same thing. And now we're going to change it. We go to a D minor and we do, we strike twice, just twice, two down strokes. We go to C, two down strokes, and we finish with the F and we just strike one time. Let's go again. Like a tool before, you can you can use this one. It it sounds good, anyways. You can do that. It doesn't matter. Um, and then the, the, the then the the chorus starts, and we use the same chords we use at the beginning with the burst, but we only use those chords, those three chords, F, G, and A minor. All right, and the pattern, the movement with this hand, it's going to be the same one. All right, we just start the same way. And then when we go to A minor, we do the same thing, the same motion with it with the pre chorus with for example, with the B and do do down strokes, then up stroke, up stroke, and we just do one more uh, down stroke. And now we're going to start again. There is no going back to G like we did with the burst. We just go back to F and repeat F, G and A minor. And then again, F, G and A minor. That's going to be the chorus. Let's go again. And that's pretty much the whole song, it's just verse, pre-chorus and chorus.